Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to understand measurement of length. We are going to discuss each and every concept related to measurement of length for class 2. So make sure you watch the entire video. Let me also tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 2 mathematics. You can find all of them on our channel Learning Notebook. Also, you can see a list of all such videos on our website. The link to our website is below in the description box. So let's start and first see what all topics we are going to cover today in this video. First, we will understand what is measurement. Then we will understand measurement of length, units of measurement of lengths with many examples. We will also learn how to do addition and subtraction of lengths. We will also solve word problems on measurement of length. And in the end, I will give you a worksheet for your practice. So let's start and first understand. What is measurement? Measurement means to measure some object by its length, weight or capacity. Students, in this chapter we are going to learn measurement of length. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Students, in our everyday life, we measure the lengths of various objects like cloth, electric wire, rope, etc. If you need to purchase a ribbon from the market, you need to tell the length of the ribbon which you need to buy. Similarly, if you want to purchase the rope to hang the clothes, you ask for maybe 10 meter or 15 meter rope from the shopkeeper. So, measurement of length is very important in our daily lives. But in olden days, we did not have any standard unit to measure length. So people used to measure length using their finger width, hand span, arm length or step length as shown here. But students, none of these is a standard unit. As the hand span, finger width, arm length, step length differ from person to person. So we need some standard units to measure length. We measure length mainly in three units. Centimeter, meter, and kilometer, where meter is the standard unit of length. Now, let's understand these units one by one. First unit to measure length is centimeter. It is denoted by cm. Centimeter is used to measure short length. Like to measure length of safety pin, to measure length of pencil or to measure length of pen. In the same way, centimeter is also used to measure short height like to measure 
हाइट ऑफ टेबल और हाइट ऑफ चेयर नेक्स्ट यूनिट टू मेजर लेंथ इज मीटर इट इज डिनोटेड बाय एम मीटर इज यूज टू मेजर लॉन्ग लेंथ लाइक टू मेजर लेंथ ऑफ रूम लेंथ ऑफ अ कार और लेंथ ऑफ अ ट्रक देन वी यूज मीटर टू मेजर शॉर्ट डिस्टेंस एज वेल लाइक इफ यू हैव टू मेजर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द बेडरूम टू द किचन नेक्स्ट मीटर इज ऑल्सो यूज टू मेजर लॉन्ग हाइट लाइक टू मेजर हाइट ऑफ अ ट्री एंड टू मेजर हाइट ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स and then the last unit to measure length is kilometer which is denoted by km kilometer is used to measure long distance like if we need to measure distance between two cities we are going to measure it in kilometers so these are the Three units to measure length. Now let's summarize these three units. Centimeter is used to measure short length and short height. Meter is used to measure long length, short distance, and long height. and kilometer is used to measure long distance now let's do some questions question is tick the correct box which unit will you use to measure the following so first is height of the tree so students Which unit are you going to use to measure height of a tree? Yes, answer is meters. We will measure height of the tree in meters because meter is used to measure long height. Now, second question is length of your shoelaces. so which unit will you use to measure length of shoelaces yes centimeter because centimeter is used to measure short length next is which unit will you use to measure length of the toothbrush yes again we are going to use centimeter because centimeter is used to measure short length next one is which unit you will use to measure length of a river here we are going to use kilometer because kilometer is used to measure long distance next question is which unit will be used to measure height of a house here we will use meters because meter is used to measure long height and lastly which unit will be used to measure distance between two cities yes kilometers we will use kilometers to measure distance between two cities now our next topic is addition and subtraction of lengths 
First, let's do addition of lengths. Let's take an example. Add 67 centimeter and 28 centimeter. Students, to add these two lengths, we will simply add the numbers and write down the unit. So, first let's write these numbers in column form and then we will start adding them from ones place. 7 plus 8 equal to 15. Now, 15 is a two digit number. So, let's carry 1 to the tens place and write 5 in the answer. Then we will add the digits at tens place. 1 carry plus 6 plus 2 equal to 9. So answer is 95. We will write the answer 67 centimeter plus 28 centimeter equal to 95 centimeter. Let's do one more question. Add 178 meter and 252 meter. After writing these numbers in column, let's add the digits at one's place. 8 plus 2 equal to 10. Since 10 is a two digit number, so let's carry 1 to the tens place and write 0 in the answer. Now let's add the digits at tens place. 1 carry plus 7 equal to 8 and 8 plus 5 equal to 13. 13 is again a two digit number. So we will carry 1 to the hundreds place and write 3 in the answer. Now we are going to add the digits at hundreds place. 1 carry plus 1 equal to 2 and 2 plus 2 equal to 4. So answer is 430. 178 meter plus 252 meter equal to 430 meters. Students, make sure that you write Units meters in the answer. Now let's see how to add when lengths are given in combined units. Like here, we are given to add 24 meter 65 centimeter and 9 meter 17 centimeter. So, lengths are given in combined units, meter and centimeter. So, in such cases, we are going to arrange them in two columns of meter and centimeter and then add them separately like we have done here. Now, first we are going to add centimeter. So, 5 plus 7 equal to 12. Since 12 is a two digit number, so let's carry 1 and write 2 in the answer. Next, let's add 1 carry plus 6 equal to 7 
एंड सेवन प्लस वन इक्वल टू एट सो नाउ वी हैव एडेड द सेंटीमीटर कॉलम लेट्स मूव टू मीटर कॉलम सो फोर प्लस नाइन इक्वल टू थर्टीन सिंस थर्टीन इज अ टू डिजिट नंबर सो लेट्स कैरी वन एंड राइट थ्री इन द आंसर देन वी विल एड वन कैरी प्लस टू इक्वल टू थ्री सो वी हैव एडेड मिटल कॉलम ऑल्सो सो वी हैव गॉट द आंसर एज थर्टी थ्री मीटर्स एटी टू सेंटीमीटर अगेन स्टूडेंट्स मेक श्योर दैट यू राइट द रिस्पेक्टिव यूनिट्स सो नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू डू एडिशन ऑफ लेंथ नेक्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू सब्रैक्शन ऑफ लेंथ लेट्स टेक हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल सब्रैक्ट सेवेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम नाइंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर so here again we are going to write these numbers in column as we did in addition then we will subtract them from one's place 3 minus 3 equal to 0 next 9 minus 7 equal to 2 so answer is 20 we will write 93 cm minus 73 cm equal to 20 cm let's see the next question subtract 88 cm from 156 cm So here again first we are going to write these numbers in column and then we will subtract them so let's subtract the ones place but 6 is weaker than 8 so 6 takes the help of its neighbor 5 so 5 becomes 4 And six becomes sixteen. Now we can easily subtract sixteen minus eight equal to eight. Now let's subtract the digits at tens place. But again, four is weaker than eight. So four borrows from its neighbor. One, so one becomes zero, and four becomes fourteen. Now we can subtract. So fourteen minus eight equal to six. So answer is sixty-eight centimeter. Let's write. 156 cm minus 88 cm equal to 68 cm again you have to make sure that you write the unit in the answer now students let's see how to subtract when lengths are given in combined units we are going to follow the same method as we did in addition so we are going to arrange them in two columns of meter and centimeter and then subtract them separately so first let's subtract centimeter column but zero is weaker than 5 So zero borrows from its neighbor nine. 
9 becomes 8 and 0 becomes 10. Now 10 minus 5 equal to 5. Next 8 minus 6 equal to 2. So now we have subtracted the centimeter column. Let's move to meter column. But 2 is weaker than 8. So 2 borrows from its neighbor 7. So 7 becomes 6 and 2 becomes 12. And 12 minus 8 equal to 4. And lastly, 6 minus 4 equal to 2. So in this way, we have subtracted the middle column as well as centimeter column separately. So we have got the answer as 24 meters, 25 centimeter. So students, now I am sure you have understood how to do addition and subtraction of lengths. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Students, we also have a separate video on complete chapter of time for class 2. Then we have got an interesting working model on how to make a clock and how to tell time. You will find the links to both these videos below in the description box. Now, let's see how to solve word problems related to measurement of length. First word problem is, a rope 94 meters long is cut into two pieces. The length of one piece is 49 meters. What is the length of the other piece? So here students, we are given with length of a rope, which is 94 meters. And then this rope is cut into two pieces. Length of one piece is 49 meters. So we have to find length of the second piece. So let's see how to solve it. To find the length of the second piece, we are going to subtract length of one piece from the total length. That is, we will do 94 minus 49. So let's subtract them. But 4 is weaker than 9. So 4 borrows from its neighbor 9. So 9 becomes 8 and 4 becomes 14. Now let's subtract 14. Minus 9 equal to 5. Next. 8 minus 4 equal to 4. So it means length of the other piece of the rope is 45 meters. Let's see the next word problem. Sanjana's father bought 3 meter 35 centimeter of cloth for his shirt and 4 meter 55 centimeter of cloth for his 
trousers how much cloth did he buy all together so let's first understand this question here we are given length of cloth bought for shirt as well as length of the cloth bought for the trousers so to find total length of the cloth bought by sanjana's father we will add these two given lengths now these lengths are given in combined units so we will arrange them in two columns of meter and centimeter and then add them separately so let's first add the centimeter column 5 plus 5 equal to 10 10 is a two digit number so let's carry 1 now let's do 1 carry plus 3 which is equal to 4 and 4 plus 5 equal to 9 so we have added the centimeter column Let's move to meter column. Three plus four equal to seven. So we have got the answer as seven meter ninety centimeter. So this much cloth was bought all together. now in the end i am giving you a worksheet for your practice students this worksheet contains questions from all the sections of the chapter which i have just taught you if you have skipped any of the section i will suggest you to first understand that section and then attempt this worksheet do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye